Good morning, everyone. Happy, um, I have no idea what day it is. Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, mm, <laughs> July 9th. Me. I don't know. Um, so, today, so I'm getting back to it. I made a list of all the things that I need to get done before the baby arrives and before I'm far too large, which I'm already getting really too big, to do stuff. So it's back to the dining room, back to this run out. So as you can see, Jeff says it looks like the it's like turning this color because of the way that I painted it. But so this wall is mostly done. I have to do another coat on the trim up there. Um, and then I need to paint the rest of this and there's a wall over there that needs to be painted and then this table Which is a disaster area. It basically has like tools and like a bunch of deliveries on it And just like stuff that needs to go like back on the walls or find a home um, So I'm gonna need to tackle at least a portion of the table uh, Do some painting, but I'm doing it in steps and stages because I um, am really pregnant now, <laughs> seven months, and I, I don't get indicators at the moment of like when I've pushed myself too far until after I'm done. So after I finish, uh, after I finish doing a project or whatever it is I'm working on, I then go sit down and I start to feel really crampy and I don't feel like just great um but I don't really get an indicator of that so if there's not like a obvious stopping point where my body's like all right time to stop so I'm going to be trying to take a rest every 30 minutes um so I have to time myself so it's really kind of a challenge um but so yeah also right now throw throw a load of laundry in we are very, 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 I'm gonna turn the air on, it is really hot in here, um, just muggy. We are really behind on laundry, um, Jeff will fix that, uh, we're really behind on laundry right now, so I'm, I want, there's like a bunch of things that I want to get on top of before the baby arrives, um, I want to finish the dining room, we're gonna, so this table right here we love, um, but we actually built it for our last apartment uh, and the apartment that we lived in previously was much larger than this apartment because we own this and so you know the house that we lived in before was much more expensive uh, because we didn't pay for it but we paid the price in rent uh, but anyway so the dining room was huge and so we built this table to fit it specifically and then we brought it here and this dining room is much, 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 much smaller. So we're gonna store that. Um, maybe the next place that we go will have a big dining room. Who knows, maybe we, I don't know, we'll just, we'll use it sometime in the future because we love it, but oh well. Um, so we're gonna do that. This furniture that you see here, so the bed here, we also have, it's like, it's just, it's madness. We have um, a mattress and a box spring here. So some of that is from the Airbnb that's now being turned back into a long-term rental. So it is, I have to put you down because my arm is killing me. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so much better. Right. Um, so we, but a lot of it actually, or not a lot of it, but a portion of it is not ours. So our previous tenant, um, who was my coworker and my friend, she um, moved. And so she lives in California. And so she was like, hey, like, do you want to use some of my stuff for the Airbnb so you don't have to like furnish the whole place? And so we were like, perfect. So she like left her beds behind and um, I think like her kitchen table and some uh, bookcases and stuff. But anyway, but now we have, we because of COVID, um, and we were planning on doing this anyway previous to COVID, but COVID really was like the kick of the butt to do it. We are now 
turning that unit back into a long-term rental. So we have tenants moving in August 1st. So we need to get all the furniture out of there. And a lot of the furniture is in this unit and it seems really small. And so it's really hard to store everything. Um, and not everything in this unit has a home. Uh, and a big reason for that is this was kind of like our like home base, like throw stuff down and like don't like worry about it because this isn't like our forever home. This isn't like something like, you know, we were going to condo as it in a couple of years and we're like, we'll get to that when we get to it. Um, but now with baby on the way and some new plans to actually rent this and potentially sooner um, than what we had anticipated, we are like now in a rush to get it like to a good place. <laughs> At one point, this was the nicer unit, and now upstairs is the nicer unit because we did stuff to it. Um, so we'll see what happens after we finish like doing some of the stuff that we wanted to do with this unit. But before baby comes, basically dining room, I all laundry. We need to get on top of all of the laundry and get into a good routine with that. We haven't figured that out. We've never been good with laundry. It's just always escaped us because um, we're we're just like so busy. Um, and in the bedroom, we, which I think I had showed previously, we are getting rid of our dressers. We're putting, we're building in shelves because um, we need to make room for the bassinet. We need to do some stuff for Piper so that we can all, the whole family of four can fit in our tiny, tiny, tiny bedroom. Um, so yeah, that. Um, Jeff still has to build the retaining wall, which I haven't really talked about much on here, uh, but I will go out there and show you that uh, in a later vlog when he's working on it. But anyway, so today we are tackling the dining room. I have a load of laundry running. I'm going to try, try, try my best to do every 30 minutes, take a little break, see, make sure you're drinking up water because that also ha doesn't help the, with the like Braxton Hicks contractions and all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan, um, so I'm gonna, but first I need to like get that organized so I can get back there and paint, which I, uh, I'm not looking forward to doing, but it's gonna feel really good when it's done. Here we go. like the, the amount of time I need. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so cute. Um, so, oops, that's right there, do I? I uh, did all of the, well not all of the gray, um, so like the top part of the walls is um, a Sherman Sherman Williams icy avalanche, which doesn't exist anymore. So I'm trying to desperately um, put together all of the paint that we have that is icy avalanche, and we're like, it's like the, on the verge. We I might have enough paint, might not have enough paint. I don't know. I'm gonna try and uh, try see what happens um so anyway I'm trying to scrounge together the rest of the gray that I can to make it work um and 
hopefully the mattress that's in there right now. So I kind of just like painted around the mattress. So basically everything's painted in the gray, like rolled at least, at least in some places, like first coat in some, second coat in others. Um, I still need to do like, I still need to like cut in in a couple spots, but I needed to stop or else I would just keep going and then I wouldn't be able to do anything else today. So break waiting for Jeff to get off his calls he's having kind of a crappy work day which I feel super bad about pandemic things so after my break I will finish cutting in with the gray or I will start cutting in with the gray and then I'll see how far I can get with the white so I just need to do I need to look and see where I did like a first coat and a second coat because I don't really recall. Oh, so sad. Look at this sad bummer. Oh, she's so sad. <laughs> so I need to, so I might try and get the, the um, chair rails, wainscoting, whatever you want to call it up to the mattress and then I'm going to do the second coat on our front door I shouldn't push myself I was going to say if I'm feeling really ambitious I shouldn't um, I should not I was going to do the the um, door to the basement to paint that white I shouldn't do it I should wait this is what your Wednesdays are for Taylor you have three Wednesdays to finish painting plenty of time because if I can get at least first coat of white down there today, then day two, the mattress should be out of there. And if it's not, I'm just gonna move it. Um, and then I'll do second coat of white first coat of white, first coat of gray, and then I'll do the white to the basement door. And then day three should just be final coat of everything, I think. It'd be great if I could do the second coat of the trim too today. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. Um, So yeah, so I'm just gonna take my break. I'm gonna drink my water. I'm gonna wait for Jeff to, my nails are crazy. I need to do, I broke this one this morning while I was doing laundry. They're way too long. I just, I don't know what I've been doing. I haven't left the house in months and I can't even do my own nails. I don't know. I don't know what I've been doing. Anyway, so I'm gonna just drink my water. I'm gonna relax, wait till Jeff hopefully has a lunch break. I hope he has a lunch break today catch up and then after lunch I will get back to it up tired very tired um I'll know later if that was too much or enough or like like the perfect amount I'm gonna guess it was not the perfect amount my guess is it was too much because I have no sense of what is too much um so I got pretty much everything done that I wanted to get done today I did I got everything done that I wanted to get done today and then so I just I have two I have a load to fold I have 
two loads to fold. So, I'm going to sit. Now is my sitting time again. I think I got it in my hair too, but I don't see it. I don't know. Cool girl. So I'm gonna sit. I'm going to sit. <laughs> I'm so tired now. I'm gonna sit. And then I am going to I don't know if I should fold first or shower first. Maybe shower. Maybe better. Yeah. So I'm gonna sit and relax. I'll jump in the shower, fold the two loads, and I think that's it for like my reno stuff today. I've been like so. I, I really have been really productive. You know, it's so funny. So, yesterday I was putting together stuff for a tax meeting that we were supposed to have today, but we pushed it back because Jeff's having just like a day at work. Um, and so, I was doing like look, looking back at. Um, 2020, the first half of 2020, to, like, get everything together, and I was like, oh my gosh, we used to do so much stuff before, like, all this COVID stuff happened. I was, like, honestly exhausted just looking at the bank statements. I was like, why? I mean, I know why we were doing all of it. It was all for, like, our business, but, uh, it's, it's nice that we're able to, like, focus inward and, like, focus on the renovation stuff that we're doing right now. So, that's really nice. I'm pooped. I want to take these shoes off so bad. I, I don't wear shoes anymore. <laughs> what is happening to me? Um, but I don't, because, like, why would I wear shoes? because I'm inside my house. So, shoes are now hurting me. Uh, anyway, so I'll do that, and I'll probably catch up with you uh, when I'm folding my laundry after this decompression break. I am back. I have mascara under my eyes, but I am freshly showered. Um, a lot has happened. I folded lots of laundry. Is that on my face? Paint. <laughs> um, folded laundry. Showered. We took the little monkey out into the yard to play. She's very warm. Um, Jeff had a really rough day at work today, so we are ordering a pizza. This is like, I think this is the fourth time that we have, third or fourth time that we've ordered food since quarantine went into place, so since, um, March 13th, which is crazy, I, like, I literally can tell you, so we ordered a burger from a place a couple miles from us that it's really, it wasn't that great, and then we ordered, uh, drunk noodles from this Asian place that we always, always, always order from, um, also wasn't that good. We ordered Mexican last night, which actually was as good as I remembered it. And tonight we're just ordering pizza. Um, but something I've learned from all of this quarantine, so Jeff's a really good cook. So I'm finding that like restaurant food that's not, you don't get it at restaurants, is not necessarily as good at home. So like the first place we order from is like a restaurant that we go to, like physically go and sit down. And I think like that is more for the ambiance. Um, the second place, the Asian place with the drunk noodles, we used to get that like, oh my gosh, once a week maybe. Back in the day, back in the the pre-COVID years. Um, and it was so good. But I think I was, I don't know if I'm like misremembering or Jeff's food quality has just improved. 
Ooh, excuse me. So significantly that I, um, that I, yeah, just, I don't need other food. But he needs pizza tonight. He needs to not cook, um, as he does all of the cooking because I'm not a bad cook, but I'm not a good cook. Let's just put it that way. Um, so anyway, so he just had to jump into another meeting. There's like a lot of stuff that's going on at his job right now. Um, and so it's the evening. It looks like it's going to storm outside. So I'm just watching Unsolved Mysteries, taking a little relaxy relax. Um, that's probably all we'll do for the rest of the day. I had mentioned to him, like, let's, you know, have some popcorn and watch a movie or something so he can decompress. Um, but yeah, I'm, so I'm feeling pretty good. After all of that, I was up, like, doing some cleaning and stuff, and Jeff was like, you need to go sit down now, so. But she is looking like a big bump right now. 29 weeks. Crazy. My friend, um, whose mom is a nurse, has been seeing my stories of me doing, like, work and stuff. And she keeps saying that I need to take it easy. And I'm just like, this is taking it easy for me. I just have a really hard time not doing stuff. Um, and there's so much more. <sighs> I would be doing if I wasn't pregnant, so, like, to me, like, so I'm, like, going crazy, so I'm just not that type of person who can just, like, sit and do nothing unless I, like, like, I could do that on a Saturday for, like, a day, if I'm, like, if I have had, like, a really stressful week, I can, like, lay on the couch and watch, like, murder shows all day long, or, like, you know, 90 Day Fiance, or whatever, but I just get most days the urge to just do a million things. So, I don't know. I'm not working out a lot. <sighs> Excuse me. Because I've been having issues with my hips popping out of place. I have I had loose joints pre-pregnancy. I apparently have even looser joints now because that's what happens when you're pregnant is they loosen to prepare for baby. So they just like pop out on occasion. It hasn't happened in a while. Um, mostly because we haven't been walking because my doctor, um, suggested that I don't walk, um, because they don't want me to get injured. So instead to, like, do yoga and other things, and, like, I, you know, have done it on occasion, but I would rather work on the house. And I feel like it's pretty low impact. I try to take breaks. Am I making excuses? Anyway, I'm gonna go relax, watch the show until the pizza arrives. It should be here in about a half hour, so I'm really excited for pizza. Beep, boop, 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 boop. <sighs> anyway, um, this might be the last clip for the for the evening, unless I come back when uh, we are watching a movie. But most likely, I won't. I I won't be back. So, um. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you did any home reno uh, this week, this weekend, um, or if you're working on any projects or there's any projects you want to work on. Um, I also just put up a blog post about uh, the projects I have upcoming, which I will be um, filming in this little series that I'm doing right now. Uh, that's actually a good idea. I hadn't really thought about that. I'll make this little series my Wednesday DIY projects. I'll come up with a better name. Anyway, have a awesome night and thanks for watching.